Hello and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Welcome back to Finn the Human saying, Holy crap! Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Ah, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Oh, don't say that. Really don't say that. I know the game takes a left turn into Ravenholm at some point, and I really hope somebody makes it out alive. Ah ha ha ha. Evil laugh. Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Who should I show my poem to next? I think we did Yuri, Natsuki and Monica, so I'm going to keep the same order. Yuri, you're up! Yuri says nothing at all. Um... Are you still mad at me? Were we supposed to be mad at Yuri? I don't think... Hmm... I don't know. I don't think so. Uh huh? But disrespecting Natsuki yesterday. Because reading this poem... Now I know why you got mad at me. Because you... You prefer her writing over mine. That's not really true. Meaning when I disrespected her... I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri... You might be reading into this a little too much. How could I be so stupid? I always let these things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off as awkward and unlikable. I mean... Yeah, welcome to school? But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep inside me come out, and people hate me. I added an extra word, see if you can find it. So please don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what Monica wants. But it's not fair to you, when you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and Sayori. Yuri. Please. It makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. Finn the human says nothing at all. Yuri smiles sadly and puts her head down on her desk. Holy shit. Um, that's dark. I'm frustrated. Yeah, get this girl a cupcake. I don't hate her, but it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. Get this girl a cupcake. I sigh to myself, looking around for cupcakes. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. Absent of cupcakes. If she wants to be left alone, then I have no choice but to abide to that request. Who should I show my poem to next? Oh, weird. Okay, so have we been locked out of Yuri? Because we weren't shown her poem. Weird. Okay. Uh, Natsuki. 
Hmm? Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. But I can't really say it's any better either. Phew. Huh? Phew? What? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? Aha, ha 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 An awkward evil laugh. Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, um... Something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Uh-huh. Do you think so? Yeah. Well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. But honestly, how can someone so, um, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Uh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away. Like letting go of a balloon. You could say... We each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Right, okay, cool. Well, at least we get to see one. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words, but she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. So her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Not bad, right? I mean... Yeah, I don't like spiders. It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think... I, <laughs> I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. I hope you didn't trip up on my sentence, too. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like, anyone who would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... Doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid if people find out, they'd make fun of you or think less of you. But that just makes people stupid. 
Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone, and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least, I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm going to write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? I'm going to show it to Monica. Hi again, Finn the Human. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I am happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Ah ha ha ha, evil laugh. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I gave my poem to Monica. Monica said nothing at all. All right, it's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori, like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. Aha, you laugh. That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? And again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I, I'm not shy, it's just... Ah, evil laugh. I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. But anyway. You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. Somebody save me. Nope, that's the... that's... that's... that's Smallville, I think. It's done... yeah, Smallville, not Dawson's Creek. Save me. The colours, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colours. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaninglessness. Meaningless, meaningless, meaningless. Load me. What? Okay, um, wait, 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 wait. RGB, red, green, blue, flashing, expanding, piercing, cacophony of meaningless, static noise, visual static noise, audio static noise, load me. Weird. Okay. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Ah ha ha evil laugh. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. 
Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about though. Ahaha, you will laugh. Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! What? Okay everyone, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room... Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah, uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. I'm getting... I'm getting strong uh, the melancholy of Haru, Haruhi Suzumiya vibes. If you've never seen it, it's a fairly short anime. I think it's two seasons, but it does play, t take place in a club, and it's got it's got supernatural vibes to it. I'll just leave it there. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets which we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But it doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? But... Um... Monica... Yeah! We're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each of us are gonna choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is... We're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori is putting it all on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been colouring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't... You didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh-huh. Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this. You know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I... I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it... Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. Natsuki says nothing at all. But... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. 
if we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki says nothing at all. Yuri says nothing at all. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayuri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Natsuki says nothing at all. It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew... Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri says nothing at all. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Sigh. I... I guess I don't really have a choice. Ahahaha, <laughs> evil laugh. That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N -n -n no way! Monica? This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? Ah, <laughs> evil lair. Of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through a notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of the poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That... that was so good, Monica! Ah ha ha ha, you have a laugh, thank you very much! I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Oh, what? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It, 
It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered, even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. As a side note, just a um, little side note in reality. I would never have done that as a kid, like in English class if we had to read out, and we did, it was part of uh, the, the GCSE, the General School GC, General Certification of School Education, GCSE. And I was, I was super nervous as a kid. That all went away when I joined Venture Scouts. And we had to stand in front of the, like a group of people and do basically stuff like this. So we, we had to arrange our own um, entertainment. Uh, basically, yeah, we, we had to run our own Venture Scout group. And sort of being forced into that position, along with a bunch of other people, allowed me to start talking in front of other people. And then YouTube and everything. So it's, it's not natural to begin with, but eventually it becomes easier. And I think these days, if you just keep doing it enough, standing in front of an entire auditorium full of people is super easy. It's uh, you're like, oh, I don't get why I was so nervous. But that's reality. And this is a game. So thank you for sharing. Yuri says nothing at all. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Oh yeah, things like that can be exhausting. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Siri hops out of a chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah, uh, ahahaha, evil laugh. Sorry, I giggled. Hehehehe. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. That's what she said. Uh, how do you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. I tell you what. We'll catch up with Sayori's poem next time. Um, so I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you like this, definitely leave a little like if you haven't already, because that helps the video. Leave a subscription because it's free, and if you click the little bell after doing so, you'll get notifications when videos go live. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>